Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square coming at you with a quick CSS tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to easily install custom CSS on just one page in your Squarespace website. Now you actually have two options here. Option one is my preferred method and that's called page header code injection. Now the page header loads before all the content on the rest of your site. So it's a great place to put some custom CSS when you're trying to overwrite that cascading style sheet. Now this currently, at least at the time of recording this video, it's only available as a premium feature in business and commerce plans. So I'll show you how to do that one really quickly, but if you're on a personal plan, stick around for option two. To install custom CSS into page header code injection, on your main pages menu, navigate to whatever page you'd like to work with and select this gear icon on the far right. This will take you to the page settings menu. Now here, we can navigate down to advanced at the bottom and this is where you can add the code. The code I'm going to use today is to just hide the footer on this individual page, but this is arguably the most important part, so pay attention. When you're using page header code injection, you need to actually nest your CSS code in between what I call style brackets. You just create the little left caret style followed by the right. Squarespace will automatically close the rest of it for you. And then you paste the code you'd like to use right here in the center of those two brackets. So in this example, I'm just going to hide the footer on this individual page, okay? So I've entered style and then the actual CSS code I'd like to use, and then I'll select save. And as my page reloads, we'll see I don't have a footer on that page anymore. I'll quickly remove this code so you can see what it looks like when it's not applying. Again, we select the gear icon on the page and then go all the way down to advanced and that's where you would place the code. I'm gonna remove what we just put there so you can see once it reloads, that's where the footer of my website is. Pretty neat, right? All right, let's talk about option two, how to install it in an on-page code block. Here, we're going to go to edit the page content, and then by selecting this little bubble right here, we can just type in the word code and add a line of code. Now again, for custom CSS, we need to nest our code between two style brackets. So here I'll have style followed by style, and then in the middle is my footer display none code. That's where we put the custom CSS. I'll select apply and select save. And now we can see the footer is no longer accessible on this individual page. So to recap, I do recommend using page header code injection if you have a business or commerce plan. To get there, starting from your main menu, select pages, and then the little gear icon next to the page you'd like to apply this code to. On the advanced tab, this is where you can enter page header code injection for an individual page. But if you'd like to just add it as an on-page code block, select edit, select the little bubble, and type the word code in so you can apply it here. Again, nesting your code between two style brackets, select apply when you're done, and save. And that's how you install custom CSS on one page in your Squarespace website. Now, if you're excited about exploring more with CSS, hop on over to insidethesquare.co slash learn CSS. There you can download my free getting started guide. This getting started guide covers some of the basics like how to install the code, which you already learned, but it also goes over details about why your theme makes a big difference and gives you five codes to explore so you can start using CSS right away. Again, this guide is free and it's available on my website at insidethesquare.co slash learn CSS. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.